You know, the Lord said something to me that all angels, all angels have a part in your financial increase. All angels. Even the angels that's not prosperity angels. The angel of deliverance. Even though it's not position, it's, he's still bringing you deliverance. All angels are part of your financial increase. All angels. So when, when you get into posture, you get serious. And see, you got to be real disciplined. See, wealth is the reward for discipline. Wealth is the reward for discipline. That's how God get this uh, wealth to you because of your discipline. So if you take a note, write this down. There's something called financial discipline, money discipline. And, and that means that God will willfully pull strings on you. Like, I don't know if some of you are on here ever got that much money, but the Holy Spirit may put like $15,000 in your hand. He might put $14,000 in your hand. He might put $10,000 in your hand. And that money is strictly the Holy Spirit doing it. He did it because you know that you was in a drought. <laughs> you know good and well you weren't. You, you, but. And so he'll put it in your hand and he won't even be aggressive. He'll be passive aggressive about it. Meaning like he, he'll be nonchalant. You won't see him pin a pull or a push on you. But what he really wants to do is see how you're going to handle that money. Because really the, the scope is on you. The magnifying glass is on your life because the Holy Spirit wanted to take you higher. So he using that as a string or as a rope to get you into what you hoped. Because saints... Um, Seed money will not be boisterously big. It'll be big, but it won't be boisterously big at first because the Holy Spirit, he pulling your strings. So I have been in that situation. I was in that situation in this meeting. <laughs> uh, with the Welcome Holy Spirit Fire Conference, leading up to it and all type of stuff. And you have to receive planting power. The Holy Spirit spoke to me today and gave me this term. He said, planting power. A lot of women, y'all don't got it. A lot of men, y'all ain't got it. That's why you live average lives. That's why you live lives that be in the borrower and not the lender, because you never receive planting power. My God. That's, that's why you live such a heartbroken life. I'm tired. They keep doing me like this. That's why you got all them stories, baby, because you ain't a, you're not a planter. You never walked in planting power. Until you walk in planting power, you can't receive the harvest of people being good to you. Saints, even the Holy Ghost got to get people to be good to you. There's nobody good. <laughs> you, you, should, you should realize that when you look at 12. Thank God for that word, because now people don't know what we're talking about unless they dig deep. You look at 12. <laughs> and we're not talking about the 12 disciples. Look, you, you should know that ain't nobody good. Look, look at um, the state of governmental officials. Look how they fight. None of them want to walk. Look how they're trying to fight the president of the United States. Leave the daggone man alone. If y'all big head self was smart, you up there, be up there praising the man, making him feel great so that he can, he can be able to think about how he can reward you. Saints, you know how you feel when somebody fighting you, how you be thinking revenge thoughts. I don't care who you is. It's just the more enveloped you are in God, you cast them down, casting down imaginations and high things that exalt itself against the knowledge of God. But, but why would you fight a man? Why would you fight a man in power? It, listen, some of y'all, if you was in power and somebody was fighting you, you'd be like, I'm about to cut the food stamps some more. We're going to find out what you're going to do, Cletus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm about to raise the taxes. Yeah. Oh, that's how you, oh, that's how they feel. Oh, I, they don't like my wig, right? 
All right, they don't like the toupee I'm wearing. Well, this is what I'm about to do. I'm about to cut all weave shops in America. Let me see where they're going to get their hair from. I'm about to, we not going to give no water to no horse or no water buffalo. Ain't nobody going to be up there slinging no hair in America no longer. Ain't going to be no hair slingers. Ain't going to be no hair doers. Ain't going to be no nail clippers. Ain't going to be none of that. Everybody going to look like Saddam Hussein when he was inside of the, uh, <laughs> like Saddam Hussein when he was inside of the thing. Saints, you, Saints, look at, never mind, hold on. Let me see something. Let me see something. <laughs> We're not going to end. There ain't going to be none, none of that. Not going to be none, none of that. We're not going to be up there having nobody doing no hair or none of that. We we not going to have nobody up there. Nobody going to be up there. Doing no hair, none that. Everybody gonna be looking like Miss Doubtfire. That's what we gonna do. Everybody, everybody, and their mama gonna be looking like Miss Doubtfire. Everybody gonna doubt that you wasn't in the fire because you gonna look like Miss Doubtfire. That's what's gonna happen. Everybody, every single person gonna be thinking they gonna doubt the fact that you was in a fire because you gonna look like Miss Doubtfire, and that's that's what's gonna happen with you. Mm -hmm. And then, and then, and then we got a president. Nobody want show honor to the president. I had somebody write me just a minute ago. They was like, "You're not all that wise. It's just God." I said, "Ma'am, how stupid have you been? How long have you been stupid? You deserve a celebration for being a fool. There's a reward. There's a reward." You there's even a harvest. You you need to be blessed. Somebody need to bless you for winning the dumb, the dumb, the the dumb dumb award. You've mastered it too well. You gotta, you gotta. You gotta, you, gotta you, you you need a dumb dumb award. That's somebody need to bless you with the dumbest dumbest woman award. Give me the number to the man that married you so I can slap him myself. Give me the number. I want to talk to him. Put him on the phone. Give me his number. I call him. Start 67. We don't have to save no numbers. I need to call him so I can slap him myself.